This week on the Inkwell, we're taking a look at the Sailor Pro Gear Rialo. Now, before we get into my perpetual love-hate relationship with Sailor, I wanted to point out something different with this video. I'm no longer filming on my Samsung Galaxy Note 9. This video is being filmed on my new camera, the Panasonic G85. So now with that out of the way, hopefully you're noticing the quality difference and it shows with this pen. So with any Sailor pen, you've got your navy blue Sailor box with the gold pinstripe going all the way around, pardon the dog fur. Inside the box with the Riallo, you have the pen in a lovely Sailor case with Sailor stamped into the top and the pen in the bottom. Nothing fancy, nothing over the top. On the gold cap band, we have Sailor Japan, founded 1911, uh, very beautifully stamped, showing the founding of Sailor, which is also where the 1911 pens get their name. We've got a fairly stiff clip, but that flare on the end does make the clip effective on all the clothing I tried it on. And on the finial, we have the differentiator of the Sailor Anchor, which is included on the Pro Gear series, but not the 1911. The Riallo is a piston filler, and you do get a lovely ink window there. And the selling feature for me on this pen, and this is also where I get my love-hate relationship with Sailor, is this 21 karat gold nib. Now, every Sailor I've tried up to this point, which was three 1911s and one 1911 large, I found that their nibs were too stiff or too scratchy or too feedbacky, no matter what I did with them. With this particular hard fine, it has a lot more give than expected. And one good thing about the Riallo that I find different from the other Sailor pens I've written with is even though this is a small section, these threads feel really good on my hand and I hardly notice them when I'm writing, even without the gloves. Here we're getting another good look at that ink window. And as I was saying, this is a piston filler. So to fill it, you just unscrew the back cap that engages the piston, dip it in your bottle of ink, twist, and you're good to go. Speaking of good to go, let's go ahead and get into the writing sample. For this writing sample, we are using the Franklin Kristoff Philly Pen Show 2019 custom ink that I did the review on last week. As you can see, the vial has finally given up the ghost and somehow a crack appeared at the top. That caught me off guard when I was getting that out of the cabinet today. Also, the pen pillow that I've been using has been provided by Quadruprod over on Instagram. Link will be in the description for his pen pillows as well. You should really think about getting one. So let's go ahead. Rhodia dot pad number 16, Philly Pen Show Inc., and the hard fine of the Sailor Pro Gear Riallo. You can already see from this pen, we're actually getting a really good consistent flow from the pen. I'm not having any issues with starvation or really any feed issues of any kind, which I really love from any ink pen combination. I'm not having to worry about a gunked up feed. I'm not having to worry about whether or not am I writing on bad paper? Is my nib dry? What's going on? So definitely a good combination here. And as you can see from the flow, it's laying down a pretty thick line of ink, and this is supposed to be a fine nib. Maybe it was the nibs that I had on my other pens, but I would struggle to get a line as consistent or even as thick from 
a hard medium or even a hard medium fine. So I honestly don't know what's going on here, but this nib is actually making me like Sailor again. Now, one thing I do want to go ahead and do on the X's and figure eights here is show how much give this nip really has, as you can see from the X's already. Without really applying too much pressure, I'm able to open this nib up a lot further than any other gold fine nib that I've tried. And I actually find that Pleasantly surprising, if that makes sense. And as you can see, even on the thicker lines, once again, no ink starvation at all. This pen can keep up with any type of writing you're going to put on it, except for... Well, let's go ahead and do some upside down writing so you can see probably the only part where this pen struggles. If you want to call it that. I mean, I know I talked about on Two Guys Zero Planners what some people see the purpose of upside down writing for, but I hardly ever use it. So, other than these pen reviews, I'm not buying a pen to write upside down with it. I'm writing it, I'm, well, I'm buying it for what it can do when being written with regular, which is the best way up. Let's go ahead and bring this closer for a second, because I want you to see this. Even though I'm getting amazing flow from this pen, look at how quick that dried. I mean, we're getting amazing line variation, we're not having any starvation issues, yet that appears to be a very dry pen. And that's not a bad thing, it's just highly unexpected considering the results I got from this ink last week when I did the review on it, and how much flow I'm getting from this particular pen. So let's go ahead and break down this review now that we've gone through the writing sample. The Pro Gear Rialo, even the 1911 Rialo, they're kind of an odd duck in the Sailor line. A lot of the pens are based off of the standard 1911 or even just the Pro Gear, and they take the regular Sailor converter, which, depending on which pen community you're in, is either a really good thing or a really bad thing. With the Riallo, we do get this piston filling system, which does give you a more full fill and more ink in the pen itself without the annoyance of how the Sailor converters work. But the one thing I would say that makes the Riallo kind of a hard sell is the price for entry into the Riallo line being around $350. Now, this particular one was purchased off the Pen Addict Slack for around $200 used. So if the only way you're going to get into the Riallo line is to find one on discount, definitely keep an eye out on like the Pen Swap Reddit or Virtual Pen Show or even some of the other used markets to try to get one sub 300. If you're okay with paying the full price though, or even getting a good discount, head on over to channel sponsor Pen Chalet, click on that radio podcast link at the top of the page, and enter Inkdwell in the How You Heard About Us section to save 10% site wide. So on this particular pen, that's like a $35 savings, and that's nothing to sneeze at. That's gonna wrap up this review though. If you like the video, click that like button. If you didn't like it, well, you know what to do. If you're not subscribed to the channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. And if you want to support the channel, head on over to patreon.com slash the inkdwell. And don't forget to follow the channel on Twitter and Instagram at the inkdwell. Thank you to Quadrapod over on Instagram for the amazing pen pillows. And thank you for watching. I'll see you next week.